It's such a beautiful day, so I decided to film London from the air. It's just so breathtaking. We're about to land in London. We're here in London. Yoo-hoo! Oh my god! <laughs> that is crazy! This is our hotel. We are staying at the Hilton Islington. This is me and one of my best friends. We are about to go out for the day. Say hi to my YouTube friends. She agreed to do an outfit of the day for you guys. I think that is so cool. <laughs> Her sunglasses are by Gucci. Necklace by Chopin. Her blouse is by Zara. The bag is the Damier Azure Galleria. The jeans also by Zara. And the shoes by Gertz. What a beautiful outfit. Carrots! Yay!
Trafalgar Square. Big Ben Now it's tied up on the Victoria Embankment here at Temple. Uh, today it's basically a drinking club for retired sea captains. Uh, if you've been uh, in charge of a boat at sea for 25 years or more, you could join their club. We call this a traffic jam. <laughs> now we have a lot of these here in London. In 2003, they did bring in the congestion charge uh, to try and alleviate the traffic problems here in London. It hasn't worked. The average speed of traffic here in London during rush hour is only 10 miles an hour. The same speed as the horse-drawn carriages of a hundred years ago. Now this is the Queen during her Silver Jubilee celebrations in 1977. That has been put here uh, because three weeks ago, of course, it was the Diamond Jubilee, 60 years on the throne. The height of St Paul's is easy to remember. It's one foot for every day of the year, 365 feet tall. 1666, using thatched roofs and wooden timber frames was outlawed by government. With the boat just like this, they had a crew of 80 men on board, so they were very good friends. This ship was actually built in the same dry dock the Titanic was built in. Uh, the Harland and Wolf shipyard in Belfast, the yard they were built in. Uh, now it's part of the Imperial War Museum in Belfast, been here since 1971. She was fully involved in the Second World War. Her main points of interest were the, the chasing down and the sinking of the German battleship, the Scharnhorn, uh, and she was the first boat to fire her guns onto the Juno beach during the D-Day landing. Uh, last fired her main guns uh, during the Korean War where she was NATO's flagship. Destroyer the Black Prince who was executed they executed the wrong man. It wasn't the Black Prince at all. The White Tower, they came across two skeletons. And they were two boys, yeah? They had to have been the princes, yeah? They were taken and buried in Ponte. We're now at the Buckingham Palace. Thank you. 
saying hi to my YouTube friends. Hi YouTube. Hanji Tika.